Being up overseas soon, a live look right now. This Ooh. is so cool, isn't it? This is a live look over in Paris, where in just nine days, athletes from all across the world will compete for their home country, all hoping, of course, to bring home a gold medal. And here in the district, if you want to cheer them on, you know what, you'll be able to stay out all night and do that. This is incredible, maybe to match some time right. zones. Our reporter Max Marcella is live for us there in Chinatown. And Max, this is all part of the mayor's nightlife plan. But what does it mean? Am I going to have folks just clamoring about and cheering on in my neighborhood? Pretty much if you live by certain DC bars or restaurants, that could very well be the case, Susan. Those bars are going to be allowed to stay open 24 hours during the game, serving alcohol 22 of those 24 hours. It's not the first time the city has done something like that, and at least one sports bar we spoke with earlier says it's been a real help to them. Pouring cocktails at happy hour here at Penn Quarter Sports Bar. Nothing out of the ordinary for Jacqueline Jimenez. It's a lot of fun. Pouring at 3.30 in the morning. Well, it's happened before and it's happening again. Much like she did for the World Cup two years ago, Mayor Muriel Bowser signing emergency legislation allowing certain bars to stay open 24-7 and they can serve their imbibing customers until 4 a.m. Similar to the World Cup, not as big, but way more patriotic because, you know, we do a little bit better than Olympics than we do in the World Cup nowadays. As regulars like Ruben St. Tell gear up for more late nights, the businesses are excited for the additional revenue. In this area, it's a little bit quiet if there's no sports going on, unfortunately, so we want people to come out and Sports. There's a uh, time difference, and it's important to be able to provide spaces for people to watch the games. DC's director of nightlife and culture, Salah Sapari, says they'll usually do this for late night sporting events and holidays. He's also hopeful more people out late could actually help safety as MPD prepares to keep an eye on busy nightlife areas. We know that people feel safer around other people. There's excitement at this bar, but still, the wait continues for its biggest cash cow. Do you have a sport you're most excited for? Oh, NFL. <laughs> we want NFL to come back. We're ready for, for American football. Now, D.C.'s bars and restaurants that serve alcohol, they do have to put in an application through D.C.'s government to get the OK to serve alcohol 22 hours and to stay open for 24 hours during the games. D.C. also says that they'll do a similar program in September for the dine all night and the arts all night. I'm excited and scared, equal parts. <laughs> we know you're a big sports fan, so I got to ask, do you have some summer game events you're really looking forward to, enough so that you're going to stay out all night long for? Well, it'll be nice to have somewhere to go when we get off work at this late hour. I don't know if I'll stay out till 4 a.m. when the alcohol cutoff is. You know there's break dancing, so that could be fun to watch. I'll also watch basketball, because if my NBA team can't give me a championship, my country's team should at least give me a gold medal, right?